Welcome to this Next.js 15 full stack development tutorial series. My name is Zan and I've been developing Next.js applications for the last couple of years. Next.js 15 was released very recently. So this is going to be probably the most updated Next.js 15 tutorial series. In this video, I'll cover what is Next.js, why you should choose Next.js and what is the difference between React and Next.js and why Next.js is best for full stack development and can you develop mobile applications in Next.js and what are the prerequisites. So before you proceed, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. So whenever I release a new video for this series, you will receive the notification. So let's jump into the presentation that I have prepared for you. All right, here we are. So what is Next.js? The most important question that you should ask that what exactly is Next.js. So Next.js is basically a full stack React framework. It is still a React, a React framework. Uh, and this is one of the most popular uh, JavaScript framework out there. So yeah, this is a React framework for building production ready web applications. That means Next.js allows you to build both front end and back end of your application using a simple framework this is not possible with react so if you are a more stack developer or if you are like a react developer so uh, or if you know anything about react so react is actually a front-end uh, development language and if you want to develop your backend you will have to do that uh, using express.js or maybe if you if you want to go to a like, completely different path so you can use python as well and uh, so so you have to like choose a different framework to uh, make backend for your application so if as we see that whenever we have to build any like complex uh, applications so we definitely need we build uh, front end and we then we build uh, back end but uh, if you if you want to like uh, speed up your development so i think next yes comes up with this brilliant uh, out of the box uh, front end plus back end uh, development so yeah it provides built in support for api routing and uh, if you if you are not aware of the routing i'll actually create that in uh, next uh, video so uh, in in react we have to actually use the third party routing um, or for, for, for and we have to like uh, code everything uh, from from scratch but in react we can actually use um, like uh, uh, sorry in, in a, uh, next x actually uh, have built-in support for api routes and then enabling server-side logics and database interactions so if you're using like any other data databases you can easily like do that with next yes um, react versus next yes i have kind of explained already so react is actually a library for building ui components and this is kind of more like more for front end there so focus is on view layer only so that's what react focuses on and whenever you it comes to like backend development you have to go with something else you have to go with some other framework so next yes uh, is a framework that extends react so this is this is still a react js based framework uh, which provides additional features like routing data fetching and rendering and optimization and if you're not aware of rendering and op optimization uh, this is like server side rendering and client side rendering so with the pl applications that are built with Next.js have better chances of uh, ranking uh, on Google uh, uh, because SEO actually uh, ranks your uh, website higher if you have a better server-side server rendering and client-side rendering. So yeah, uh, this is better for ranking as well. So I, this actually simplifies. Uh, so so this, this question was actually why Next.js? So Next.js actually uh, simplifies um, reduces setup and configuration time and then it improves performance optimized for uh, speed and user experience and then seo friendly as i mentioned already so better for search engine indexing through server-side rendering so as i mentioned that what that already so it has full stack development capabilities ability to build both front end and back end within one project so what we used to do before whenever i because i i used to be like um, develop applications with merge stack merge stack is mongodb react express and node.js so whenever i have to like now build a separate uh, api or like build a backend of my of my project so i have i usually i just like create a separate project and then uh, create an api and then connect my front end with, with, with the back end but not anymore with next.js so next .js actually f simplifies all of that for you so next .js actually has a, a strong community and support of course and there is a, there are like regular updates and extensive documentation you can see this all over the all over the website if you just go to next.js website uh, you'll see like uh, recently next.js 15 is released so 
So uh, like there's a very extensive documentation and support for Next.js. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the Next.js just stands out in that. So then can we develop mobile applications with Next.js? Well, this is one of the most, most important questions. So the answer is yes and no. So yes, you can develop mobile applications and no, you cannot develop. Yes, why yes? Because first, let, let, let's focus on no first. So Nexus is actually really good. Uh, it, it is really good in building web applications. Like uh, it's, a, it's, it's just outstanding when it comes to like building web applications, but it doesn't develop native mobile applications. When I say native, that means if you uh, want to like come, uh, compare an access application that is developed in in, in access if you, if you compare it with uh, any application that is natively built for uh, for android or ios let's suppose if you're using flutter for that so nexus application the experience that you'll have will not be or even the ui components will not be uh, like that you'll have in in native built application dedicatedly for uh, for, for 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 mobile devices so for that, we use usually we use React Native uh, for developing mobile applications, but there is a way in in in, in building like uh, developing mobile applications for React Native, which is like um, so we can there is always a way. So we can actually use something like uh, capacitor, or maybe we can use like PWS progressive web apps, or we can use capacitor. So what capacitor does is this, this is actually a cross platform uh, native runtime for web apps. So what this does, it will take your web app and bundle it into a native mobile app. So still your application is still a web app but it will actually kind of create um, let's suppose if you want to like launch it on a on a on a android so you can it will create apk for you if you want to create a uh, launch your app on ios so it will create an ios file for you like it, it can create an ios build for you you can still launch your website so consider like you built a website and now it can create a mobile friendly preview for your for your um, application and then it, it it will try to make it look like a mobile app but still when when once you like uh, navigate through your mobile application you will still have that uh like web app kind of like feeling so yeah it, it's not perfect but still capacitor does a good job in that you can check out their website but uh, yeah i mean if you build one app on next yes yes you can uh, publish and distribute it on uh, app stores but uh, this is not recommended you can still you can like uh, write your ui components in react native and still use nexus as a backend or maybe like uh, as main uh, framework for your uh, for, for your application so yeah i mean you can develop mobile application or you can convert your uh, web application into mobile using nexus but that's not the best way to go i mean if you are planning to launch uh, like mobile version of your of your web app so uh, i will suggest you to like maybe consider using react native for that but if you do not have enough time or resources you can definitely have you have uh, things like capacitor that will actually help you to convert your existing web application uh, simply and in bundle it into a native mobile app that will give you kind of an experience or like a, like a native app prerequisites what you need to uh, what you need to start next yes development uh, first of all you should know very basics of html uh, css you should understand uh, javascript uh, these are these three things if you if you understand any of any of these uh you're welcome to start this tutorial series if you do not understand uh, the basics of html and css and javascript uh not a problem because uh we'll be writing most of our uh, code using github copilot or we'll be using uh, cursor ide so we'll be writing ai will be writing code for us so you should at least be able to understand um what is written so what ai is right what kind of code ai is writing for you you should be at least able to understand that if you are capable of doing that so i think uh, this is good, good enough for you uh so yeah you should have node.js uh, version 18.18 .18 because that's the minimum requirement for next Yes, 15 so you should have installed that how you do that i'll actually explain that in next video uh you'll have to have install npm package manager uh again i'll explain this in next video then you'll need a code editor in our case we'll use cursor and then there'll be terminal uh command line everyone has that in every computer then there's git so to push your code on github uh on a, on like any other repositories uh any other like platform so you can use git for that so again uh, i'll explain that 
all of these in next video tutorials and uh, if you uh, think that this is uh, for you and you are ready to start your full stack uh, next uh, web development and still you are not aware of um, like writing uh, code um, you're still welcome and I, I believe that using uh, AI code writers we can definitely uh, launch um, like we can, we can definitely like build apps uh, within Nexus. All you have to do is just like uh, follow this uh, tutorial series, and by the end of this series, you'll have uh, you'll you'll be a full stack Nexus developer. I promise that. I'll make sure that I'll keep explain things in a very simple and layman language so you can understand. So see you next video. Don't forget to subscribe, please, and like this video and share with your um, loved ones uh, so anyone who is interested to learn access 15 even though they don't know how to write code uh, this is still uh, for you so see you next video bye bye